channel. If you have not subscribed yet, then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of What's the Chat. So, ladies and gentlemen, and Z, what's the chat? <laughs> So, um, <laughs> okay, so, uh, today we're talking about, like, being single versus being in relationships. That's, mm. that's the chat mm. today. The pros and cons, mm. why you do the things you do, why you're in relationships, why you're single, is it better, which one's worse, which one do you think you're destined for, the all, thing all that trend is, all of that we're dissecting thing. today. So first things first, guys, mm. who here is in a relationship? Okay. okay. All right. All right. All right. Go. Go. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Got it. Got it. Nice to Thanks. Know. So, why are you in a relationship? I did not choose. I was doing my thing. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? How do you feel that being in a relationship is helping in your life right now? How does it benefit you? Well, for one. You don't focus on as many human beings as, as like at one time, because when you're single, you no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not shading you or anything like that. But <laughs> there's like too many people that <laughs> you're giving attention to. I would say, right? And so, I w I personally would just rather have my attention focused on like one person, mm -hmm. number one. So you're you weren't single, you single. Don't... You were single, but you weren't single, single before. The really, yeah. maybe, no, I was single, single, single as. Yeah, but here you are focusing on a lot of people and the rest of single people. Let me not say. 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 In all the single, days. single, in the sense of like I was focusing on other people. I'm just gonna call it a fake. I'm just gonna. I was. I was messing around. Yes. Mm -mm, guys, you're either single or you're not or you're in a relationship. There's no single two point. But there's vibes. No, there, there, there are vibes. vibes. There's vibes. Or talking. <laughs> and single two point. Just talk. <laughs> no. Until someone makes you their boyfriend or girlfriend, you're single. No, I no, I don't agree. Absolutely. I don't Absolutely. agree. Okay, it depends on what definition yeah. of single you're using. Yeah. Because you're single in a sense of you're not in a relationship. That's what yeah. kind of yeah. single you are. So yes, but that's you the, are that's in a... An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> I have a question. Why is it that a lot of the time, some people, I won't say most, but some people, find it hard to be just single, single and just deal with yourself? So do you believe that people are never meant to be alone? Is there something wrong with being alone, even personally, if it's for a period of time? Personally, I was absolutely okay with being alone, right? Who are you? No, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Who are it's, you? When you, it's when you realize. Listen, are you really? It's when you realize that, oh, okay, I have a problem with being alone. Not the video, right? I. <laughs> You know, I worked on that. You mean you like being alone with Pindile? <laughs> and not shoot you and Bali. Okay, real talk. Talk your truth. Okay. okay, I was absolutely okay with being alone. Mm. There's being alone and there's being alone. Okay. Two totally different things. Okay. Right. When you are lonely, you want to be with someone all the time, whether it be with your friends or with family or just someone just to be around because you don't want to deal with whatever thoughts or emotions that you deal with when you're alone. Right. When you're alone, you're absolutely content with being alone. I was content with being alone. I was enjoying my own company. Do you understand? Then this person that I'm with right now just randomly came out of the blue. This is what I think about being single or being alone. I think that people demonize being single a lot. They make it seem like it's a disease, yeah, like something is absolutely. wrong with it. I it's think not. there's nothing wrong with being single and being alone if you know why you're doing it. For single people who don't have a concrete reason, and by that I mean people who didn't make a conscious effort or conscious decision to be single, what keeps people from starting relationships? Easy, why are you single? Oh, why did that come out so rough? Why did that come out so rough? It wasn't, it wasn't, it just, it just hit me there. That was an attack, boy. No, it, it just hit me that yo. Guri, guri. Oh. No, because you also look, no, because look, number one, you're also very good looking. Well, number you. one. Number two, why is everyone looking at me like that? Like what? Okay. Because you're talking. How? Number one. <laughs> Insecurity? No. No. I don't know, being single slaps. 
It's nice. Oh, huh. I think it suits my personality. What is your personality? A single guy. <laughs> also, also like. Also, yeah, yeah, I, I feel like I've gotten like super comfortable with being single. Like, yo, that's a real you get thing. comfortable being alone. That guys. is such a real thing. In life. Yo, I got not having thing. to answer to anyone, not having to be accountable for someone. <laughs> you can, yeah, the sleep thing. Please explain the sleep and thing. Sleep. <laughs> if you want to sleep, don't be in a relationship. No, but what is it about relationships that's sleeping you guys for broke? Sleep. If I'm staying up sleep. till three o'clock in the Why? morning, you stay up too. How dare Why? you sleep when I'm when I'm awake? Who must I talk to? Who must I talk to? <laughs> you get me? That's why. Right. Okay, okay now we've sleep. heard you. Mzi, why can't you sleep? Cause when I was in a relationship, like I just I just wasn't sleeping, and since then <laughs> I've been much happier. <laughs> Relationship? Are you sleeping? Hell no. Why? 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 Hell no. Why? What's? Do you know? You have you sleep? Because it's either you talking to this person throughout the night, or you're waiting to talk to this person throughout the night. So you stay awake. To talk oh, to someone. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. In, in relationships, we 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 count for that. We sacrifice sleep. It's either you waiting to hear from this person because apparently they went out or something, whatever, right? Is that? Or you're so sorry, no, because sorry, went out yeah. like they gone clubbing or whatever. So no, 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 not just clubbing. You can't just clubbing. You no, know you're like, no, no, no. For example, it could be that, or it could be a thing of um, you just haven't heard from them the whole day, and you, you know you just need to know if they're okay. Then you can sleep. You know what <laughs> I think also causes people to not go into relationships, guys. Getting it's to work. know someone. It's from the no. scratch Yo. is pain. It's work. Starting from the about oh, what's your favorite color? Uh, what no. makes you angry? How many siblings do you, spell do you your have? Surname? Yeah. You know what I mean? What's your what's your ID Likes, number? Bank account dislikes. details? Like it's it's a lot. Like have to. By the way, that's the most romantic <laughs> line what? that anyone can ever you know give you or you say to them. <laughs> that one. That one. <laughs> My boy. Send me your banking details. Wow. Yo yo. Get Yo, a your name. Yo! <laughs> ah. Actually! Ah, I tell you! Wow! Ah. Send I can't me relate. your bank. Can you relate? Details. I can't. Don't tell me like you can relate. <laughs> Send okay, me Mama Nasa, can you join Send me relate? your banking details. We cannot relate. No, 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 let me tell you. As for me, as a guy, mm. nah, saying that. <sighs> you like saying it? Oh, hey, hey! I, Why? I am. I <laughs> Why? Why? I love <laughs> spoiling my girl. I you get love spoiled, my guy. spending. Oh yeah, absolutely. As much. Yeah. With money. And everything else. Do they ask for your bank details? Also you. No, she, no, she does cash. Yes! 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 I know that was a joke, <laughs> but let me go into. No, no, bro, he's been let dropping me. his, been dropping his <laughs> bottle. Like, are you? Let me, let me. I know it was a joke. You just shook the table. Really yeah. She loves you. But <laughs> also, I think that made me realize that she was. Finish crazy. your blazer to spoil your man. And that's on period. You know, as females, right? Mm -hmm. We see a guy, and we don't just see what we're looking at. Mm -hmm. We also see beyond that. We start to see potential. Guys too. We start to see guys too. who he could be and oh, what God. maybe we want him to be. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that person doesn't meet those expectations we have, not because anything is wrong with them, but because that's not who they are, that's not who they want, that's not their intentions, and we get disappointed. So now you're saying that um, you want to change your not change yourself. You want to be you want a better person. A better person to love her. But in relationships or whatever, I don't know how to phrase this question. But how do you deal with that that expectation or that yeah that expectation you have of someone naturally the potential that you see you said guys here too. How do you deal with that? How do you meet in the middle and realize that oh that person is not who I dreamt of them or wish they could be. It's not a real be. person. It's not a real Here's person. Here's the real person. How do you, you have how do you deal with that? And, and sorry, what if they are not interested in the least bit in being who you see them as? Do you leave? What, Pers what do you do? Personally, before, I'd always leave. Because I've always, I didn't know it at that time, but I've always had a preset idea of the girl that I should be with. And so now it's the thing of, okay, you have to go because yeah. you know, you're not filling my idea of 
what love is. And then I realized that, you know what? I have this issue of not seeing the person for who they are, yeah. but for the idea. I've had to say, okay, I'm letting go of all my ideas mm. of a relationship, you know? And Which is very d easier said than done. It's, you know, yeah. it's, it's easier said it's, than it's, done. It's, it's hectic because you have to fight that feeling of dissatisfaction that comes in sometimes. Mm. Yeah, and and also, you 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 can't help but tend to compare, you know, mm. if you have preset standards. No, but I think that's important no one is ever 100 percent perfect there's this thing where it's like you want the guy to have you guys ever seen those cartoons <laughs> of the guy who was like i don't know basically trying to heal a heart that another man broke i don't think that's fair i believe that as a person we have our own issues flaws mm. heartbreaks that we need to deal with by ourselves as individuals and then get into a real like you know what like if, if you've been cheated on all your life as as best as you can deal with that insecurity instead of throwing it onto someone who never did that thing to that you, sort of you know thing. and, and you also i also think in a relationship you were saying or we were talking about the whole potential thing and whatever i think it's important to get to know your partner constantly mm. do not get comfortable in the idea of who I know you as, who you're supposed to be, who I met. Yeah. The person you met, changes, is, if they're not changing, there's a problem. Yeah. People have to evolve, have to grow, mm. and you guys have to keep getting to know one and getting to know one another, mm. and keep trying to fall in love with this new person as they come, and understand that these changes might not always be good, and understanding that you might have to but deal you have with to that. Be empathetic about it. You know what I mean? But now I have a question. We've talked about relationships, but just to just to just to summarize it, can everyone give just points maybe of what you guys think are the benefits of being in a relationship? Number one, for the most part, your love is reciprocated. That feeling is is, is crazy. Mm -hmm. Number two, you have someone that you can genuinely connect with in a way that you can't connect with with your friends or family or cousin, dog, colleague, mm. etc. Yeah. I think <laughs> some of the benefits of being in a relationship, guys, is companionship. It is beautiful to have someone with you in your life, to walk mm. life with someone, someone who helps you, who supports you, who, Absolutely. yes, you'll fight, but you know this person is there for you, you can confide in them. Mm. And also, um, someone to take cute pics with. Yeah, right, right here, man. <laughs> That's very important. I, I guess that's a, I guess that's a thing. <laughs> that a must be the formula to the perfect relationship. Okay. I guess that the couple That's the one. one. <laughs> that's the one. Okay, real talk. Someone who's there to push you and to support you. If you have the right partner, someone who you can tell your dreams to, and that's why it's important to have yeah. the right partner. That part. Who that you part. can tell your dreams yeah. to and they'll support you. Sometimes no one in your space is supporting you, but you might find that your partner is. This person talks to you more than anyone. They know when you're slacking. Other people think you're working hard, but this person knows that you're slacking. You know Someone to hold you accountable and to support you. Next. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Like, basically, your partner is like the only person you can be sure wants the best for you. Like, compared to your friends, family, whoever, your partner. I mean, you'd want the best for your partner mm -hmm. all the time. So that's one person you can go to and like get like proper advice. Mm. Unless he or she's dense. Yeah. Oh my god! What are the benefits? I think, man, just having someone constantly there that's willing to like take it all. Like mm. the day I'm mad, the day I'm grumpy, I'm a very moody person. So someone who's gonna understand that and be like, you know what, it's okay. She needs her space. Or, you know what I mean? Like, I think that is, I think that's one of the most beautiful things I see in other couples. Sometimes also you, you doubt yourself, sometimes you're just tired, sometimes, you know, all sorts of stuff happens. Sometimes you're just down and you, you start questioning your dreams. You start questioning whether or not you're capable, all that kind of stuff. And someone that's just going to try to listen. Also to have someone who's patient with you when you're going through that. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Your patience is Because sometimes it, these things, it's not like just for a day that I'm feeling down. Sometimes it's a period of time. Mm -hmm. that you, you like you just by every day. There's just, you know, there's no will to do anything. There's no drive and all of that. Yeah. So someone that will understand that and remind you of when you weren't in that dark space. You know what I mean? And, and say, also where you're going exactly. to remind you of Remind that. you of 
your dreams and what you were thinking when you came up with those goals for yourself. All right, so we need to summarize this video. Yeah. Um, everybody, two points why being single is great. Being single is great because you have more time to work on yourself. Mm. Well, you, work, you can work on yourself all the time. That's why being single is great. See, when you're single, Oh, so you, don't have to, you don't have to answer to it. I think one of the benefits <laughs> of being single, honestly, is I don't know why this weighs so heavily on my heart. It's just not having someone to answer to, not having to think about someone before making decisions. Exactly. Like, you know. Because yeah, it's not just you anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. Part of the reason why I'm single is because right now I'm living in America and I'm thinking when I'm done, maybe I'll go somewhere else, maybe I won't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't involve anyone else except. For me, I don't have to think about my man. I suppose one of the pros for me anyway, I'm super selfish with my time, my mm. energy, who I led into that. Oh, I don't have to stress about someone like messing with my vibe. If I want to be angry today, I can be angry and I don't have to explain why I'm angry. I don't have to tell you that it's not you. It's I can just be angry because I'm angry. Me. So my energy is everything to me, my time is everything. I can choose where I want to spend my time, how I want to release my energy, how I want to express my energy. All that it's yeah it's just I really get to flirt and meet new niggas and like any anytime you want anything you Wait, want do you know i read the bible flirt? i read the bible and i go to church <laughs> but answer the, really <laughs> <know what it's laughs> answer the ox answer the ox do you know how to flirt i don't okay <laughs> that's it today guys i hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe, subscribe. and we'll be back with more episode of Buster chat peace and love guys